Hi guys, in this video we will learn how to generate a vulnerability assessment report in Zap. So let us get started. As you can see Zap is up and running. So let us quickly do a manual scan on our application under test which is Utility. Just paste the URL here and click on launch browser. So as we navigate through the application, the alerts are being built in the alert window. You can see them in the footer bar as well. So let us quickly log in into the application. The user is admin and the password is admin pass. And if we click on the login button, it has generated some more alerts. In real practice, once you have completed your manual or automated testing on your application and you have collected all your alerts in the alerts window, then you are ready to generate your testing report. Zap has very excellent features to generate reports that can be circulated to the management or the stakeholders. So before I go to generate the report, you would have noticed that in the sites tab there are a couple of other websites they are not related to your application under test so what i normally do is select them all and delete this will also remove all those alerts which were generated by those additional sites or links now, in order to generate the report, what you need to do is click on the reports menu and select generate HTML report. Here you need to specify a location where the report can be saved and the name of the reports. So I'm just going to type test here. This will create a test.html report and launch it in the browser. Here you can see the report heading is Zap Scanning Report. The time report was generated. You will see a table of summary of alerts. The alert description can be found in the next table under alerts. Here you will also see the risk level and number of instances of each issue. These high, medium, low, or informational risk levels they are hyperlinked so you can click on any of them so it will take you straight into the alert detail or you can scroll down in the report you can see the alert details so each alert will have a description of the alert and the url where the alert was found and the method that was used and any evidence to support the occurrence of that alert and number of instances as you can see it has occurred four times one two three and four and what is the solution probably the developer should look at it and implement that solution any other information any references from the web or uh, OS website when I generate the HTML report I also export all the urls to a file so if i type say test urls and if i open that file now you will see all the urls that were visited during the test this is very helpful and you can use this file to compare the URLs available to users with different roles or permissions. Also, you can use this file to compare with the previous version of the system to see or check if any URLs were missed in the latest run or some additional URLs were visited. In the alerts window, all the risk levels they are assigned by zap for example cookie without same site attribute has been 
termed as a low risk alert but for your project that may be quite high so what you can do is you can change its severity or risk level to say let's change it to high and you can also add some additional information here info for say developers and save it as you can see it automatically moved it from the low priority to high priority and when you generate the report now let's name it as test 2 now the report has been generated with one high priority issue and the alert has been moved to high the reporting feature automatically adjusts to the new alert level also the report is generated with the additional information you specified so this was a short video to show you how to generate a vulnerability assessment report in zap if you haven't done already please do subscribe share and like the video because that really encourages me to create more videos thanks